Essential employees have continued to show up to work despite the dangers of being exposed to COVID. And now they might get some extra money in so-called hero pay. CBS 2's Cara Finstrom is live in Studio City with a look at what's being considered. Cara, good morning. Good morning, Suzanne. The L.A. County Board of Supervisors is meeting right now, and they will consider whether grocery store workers should get an extra $5 an hour in hazard pay. Here's what one grocery store worker who called into that virtual meeting had to say. Companies should show their gratitude for their workers that are exposing their lives and risking their lives and their families' lives every day they come to work. That's why we need your support. Essential workers need essential pay. We need hazard pay for all grocery workers. Our lives are on the line. Supervisors Hilda Solis and Holly Mitchell co-authored the motion, which would apply to large grocery and drug stores in unincorporated areas and may be extended to incorporated cities. They point to a rising number of COVID-19 outbreaks in grocery stores and say workers are at risk when they can't maintain distance from customers. Their motion also cites a Brookings Institution study that found top retailers, including some grocers, saw an average profit increase in 2020 of 40 percent. The city of L.A. is considering a similar measure. Meanwhile, the California Grocers Association responded, saying many grocers have already provided workers with extra pay, bonuses and health benefits. They called the proposals knee-jerk measures that they say will drive up grocery costs and threaten the extra grocery jobs created. We also reached out to Ralph's Grocery Store, which released a statement. Take a look. It says, in part, they've already invested $1.3 billion to both reward associates through extra pay, which they say was given as recently as late November, and for implementing dozens of safety measures like plexiglass barriers. They also say they are continuing to support associates through paid emergency leave and a fund that provides support for those experiencing certain hardships due to COVID-19. And back here alive, if the measure being considered today is approved, it would extend for four months.